thought I'd introduce this video with a quick sample from the Edge DI wireless 2.4 gig microphone from Movo. This is how it sounds. This is what you'll get if you're going to be using this together with an iPhone. And uh, it just plugs conveniently into the lightning connector on your iPhone. And yeah, that's all you need to do. It's prepared in the factory. So hopefully there's nothing else for you to do. Hi, welcome to another Goods In video from TDCat Tech. Today I'm looking at all of these. All these comprise the iVlog DI kit. The sole purpose really of this kit is to give you options. If you're looking to film on an iPhone or a smartphone in general, this is the kit for you. It gives you lighting options, mounting options, support options, and audio options, all that all come together. And you get all four boxes. It's nice, isn't it, when you get kind of a, all four, like four boxes. And I mean, you can buy these things separately as well. But if you order the kit, this is what you get. And I'm going to be unboxing all of these today and taking a close look at them. But I thought I'd start the video there with a bit of audio and a bit of a sample from uh, this product, which is the Edge DI, because this is the most expensive item in the kit. This is a wireless lav mic. And I thought it would be good to give you an immediate impression of how this sounds. But let's start the unboxing process. I'm going to move these out of the way for now, and I'm going to start with the MVT-1. Usually on my Goods In videos, I this it is literally the first time I have been looking at the items. But um, I have to tell you, I have looked at these and my partner has even used these and tested these for me so far because these are excellent mounting options for um, for a, uh, she, she uses her iPhone for a Zoom calls with friends and stuff like that. And uh, I, I said, well, I've got a perfect thing for you to test. So what you get in the box is a tripod here. So this actually detaches from here. And we have a basic kind of desktop tripod, which opens out either into a wide position like that for extra st stability. Or alternatively, if you close it and you adjust this to the to that setting, it's a slightly narrower setting. It gives you a little bit more height, a bit, bit more elevation on the tripod, and uh, you don't doesn't have to take up quite so much desk, desk space. So the choice is yours, depending on what you set this option to here. And this is great because what I really like about the Movo stuff, they're quite low cost, but they're not. They don't come across as kind of super super cheap they're, they're all decent you know decent quality all this is metal um you know it's nicely made but they're not mega expensive so they're kind of like great for people who are serious about what they're doing and don't but don't have a ton of money to spend but are serious about what they're doing and, and sort of want to get something that actually is going to last a little bit longer than some of the really cheap plastic stuff you can get out there so there we go we have a nice desktop tripod option and then you have a uh, ball and socket head here it's a fairly simple one quarter 20 screw on there and a quarter 20 screw on there which is the sort of official name for a consumer tripod screw would like to have seen that being a non drilled option this one here you can see is um is, is kind of a drilled hole in there always find that makes them a bit weaker i'm not sure if there's a reason they do that but uh it'd be nice if that was a solid one never mind and when that's unlocked, that bottom section rotates and, uh, and the whole of that top section rotates. So standard thing, if you're used to tripods, if you're used to these kind of mounting things, then this will, is nothing new to you, but um, nice solid metal option for one of those as well. And also you get a little, I don't know, what, what can you call this? An extension tube? And the point of that is if we, let's set, let's set this to the widest position like that. So we've got the most stability and then this is how my partner's been using it. Just screw that on there like that. Screw the head on here like this. And then whatever you want to add to the top of here, which I'll get onto in a second, because that's what I say. This whole thing is about all kind of options and things like that. So there we go. That's what comes in the uh, MVT1 box. That's one part of the kit. Oh, you actually get a um, bag with it too, if you want, if you're into your bags, if you're into, I'm personally not a big particularly big fan of it but it's a, a bag that has actual section you know compartments for each individual thing and a nice kind of like um, 
metal um, clip on there too. So again, not the worst bag I've seen. It certainly will protect it. It's branded, so uh, fair play. That's actually all right. Um, yeah, I tend to just chuck stuff in a bag and get on and use it rather than uh, constantly putting things back in bags. But if you are, do want to be a little more careful with your things and look after them, then you might want to use the bag. Secondly, this is a smart grip. So this is kind of something more for when you're moving around, you're actually on the go. So not sort of more, not for something you put on a desktop, uh, but it does form part of the desktop tripod as well, if you want it to. So the first and most important thing is this, which is the phone mount. And uh, you just simply unscrew this here, and then you can slot a phone into it. it it unscrews a reasonable amount, so you've got no problem, you know, in um, being able to fit your phone in it. And it's, I, I, I prefer it because it's a screw option, but it does take a little bit more time to do as a result. So I'm going to stick in my iPhone 11 Pro Max into here. And screwing it down like this is really quite reassuring because rather than the ones that have a kind of sprung loaded thing where you just, and never quite sure how tight they are. You've got a really good feel. You basically do this as tight as you like. Probably don't want to overdo it because, to be honest, once it's up to that point, that's, you know, I'm shaking that around. That's not going to go anywhere like that. So, um, decent. You've got two bubble levels here, one for the horizontal, one for the uh, vertical, or the other way around. And, uh, and then at the back, you can see, you see the best thing about all this stuff They've all kind of come with various kind of mounting points for quarter 20 screws, so it keeps your options open. But if you unscrew this, that then gives you the option to use your phone in a portrait mode or a landscape mode. If we just sit that to one side for a second, we also with that get this little handle. And it really is just a metallic handle, but again, quarter 20 on, tr on top, quarter 20 thread in the bottom there. And uh, this is a rubber grip around the outside and it's solid. This is solid kind of metal. It feels really, really weighty this, uh, which is great because if you want to use your phone when you're moving around, you just screw this on here and you've got something to hold your phone really securely in place like that. And uh, probably a good idea is to attach this as well and stick that around your wrist so that if you drop it, it just drops to the side and doesn't actually drop on the floor. But that, you know, it's, it's this is plastic and that's not a bad thing. Usually I kind of think, oh, plastic stuff is rubbish and all that. But when it's well-made plastic, you need this to be plastic. It's, you've got to keep the weight down because if you're holding stuff out like this and you've already got the weight of an 11 Pro Max and you've got the weight of the handle, with the handle's nice being weighted because it sits at the bottom so it kind of keeps everything sort of nice and stable. But the top, keep that as light as possible. Otherwise, you're just adding unnecessary weight to the uh, to the rig. Next one is the LED 30. This is an LED video light with um, apparently five hour battery time. You can use it, uh, it's just a rechargeable video light and uh, you can charge it via micro USB with the uh, provided cable. And this is just a tiny thing. I mean, this is really just to provide a little bit of extra light in emergency situations. Doesn't look like it comes with any kind of diffuser, really. You've just got your raw LEDs here on the front. So I can imagine the light's going to be pretty harsh with this. If you need it, if you're kind of stuck in a situation where you have no light, then something like this is really lightweight. I mean, it weighs nothing, virtually. And it comes with a cold shoe uh, fitting there. Or, of course, alternatively, you've got the quarter 20 there, too, to be able to att attach that to the ball and tuck it joint, you know, so you can attach it to the top of here if you want. Or, again... You've got a cold shoe fitting on there too, so you can mount the light there. So we can mount, mount the light to the top of there. Yeah. Options, options, options. And this, yeah, five hours. It's got three brightness settings on it. Uh, so if I just turn it on, that's set to low. Can't really tell anything from the video. I appreciate that. That's set to medium and that's set to high. I don't know if the five hours battery life is on low. I would imagine so because this is going to have a pretty small pack in it. So um, that would be my guess, the fact that this has five hours battery life on low. But five hours from something this small and that's rechargeable is really handy, even if you only get half an hour or an hour on low, uh, or on high, sorry, that's going to be fine because you can recharge this with a power bank and just keep it, you know, you could even probably attach a power bank somehow to this uh, to keep this light going for as long as you want. Finally, this is the HDI. It's the LAV kit. And as good as smartphone 
audio can be. It does suffer a little bit when you're further away. Also, I find sometimes it suffers from not really knowing which mic to use and switching kind of oddly between them or people set it up incorrectly and they're recording in stereo and stuff. This gives you an option where you can just whack this into um, the lightning port. This is dedicated. This is specifically for iPhone, this. So this, is, uh, this fits into the lightning port and is a receiver that that section of the receiver there this is the transmitter and you have this on your person and you have your lav mic on your uh, top of your kind of collar or your jacket or whatever and you can add wind protection to this that's the big difference here you've got wind protection and you've got the mic close to your mouth permanently it gives you a consistent sound and it gives you it's just lav lav mics are just by far the way to go compared to anything else and this is a 2.4 gig uh uh, lav mic so it's um we're gonna have a range of about 200 feet so it, probably like you know st standard kind of 2.4 gig range it's not that much really about 60 meters but you but you know what if you're going to be using this with a phone like here or maybe someone just walking next to you with a phone filming you and you're wearing the lav mic that you're not going to need anything more than probably 10 meters so having six times that is going to give you plenty of headroom so no problem there right Transmitter is really, really lightweight. It's all made of plastic there. And we have the uh, line in and uh, the microphone connection there. Let's take a look at what else we get in the box. I've managed to find uh, two AAAs, hopefully they work. So these are the clips that are used to um, tie, uh, clip the microphone to your clothing. And uh, you get two of these and you get two wind protectors you could replace that of course with a better wind protector because a foam one will give you a reason it's usually pretty reasonable with just foam on a lav mic and then we also get the microphone which i was taking a look i couldn't couldn't see well, obviously whether this is a uh, unidirectional or omnidirectional but i'm gonna guess that it's omnidirectional a lot of lav mics are uh they can be really because they're so close to your person all the time they don't doesn't really matter too much and you know they need to be able to be positioned they might be positioned this way or this way or this way and they still need to pick up your voice equally but because they're close to you they don't pick to pick up too much other stuff around you because your level is so much higher than other levels so the mic is again very lightweight very plastic um but uh, you've heard the quality of it there at the start of the video uh, so make of that what you will so let's give it a try and see whether we can get any um, audio coming through from here. I'm going to go into my phone and I'm go, going to select my um, Just Press Record app because that should be able to pick up. There we go. You can see on there. Hopefully you can see there that it's picked up that there's um, the Movo wireless microphone on there. So that's what I'm going to select to record. And I'm going to start recording. Bop. Oh, is there anything coming through from the Bop, 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 bop. At this point, yes, there is. One, two, one, two. Uh, right, so hopefully this is recording something. Yeah, it seems to be. Okay, so this is the recording that I will use for the start of the video. Stop that and have a quick play of that to see how it sounds. Oh, okay, so will it not play? Oh, okay, so I can monitor from these headphones here the side but to actually hear that I'm gonna to have to unplug it I'm guessing really easy there you go <laughs> that is really nice so simple and this is just super lightweight made it, but it feels tough and that's what I was saying to you before the the difference with the Movo stuff versus a lot of the uh, budget more value stuff out there is that yes it's made of plastic but it's strong enough it's as strong as it needs to be to last this will do the job and it will do it very nicely there we are that's what we get in the kit it all comes to, in this uh, nice nice package as well hopefully you found that useful and uh, this is the iVlog DI kit from Movo, including 2.4 gig transmitter, 2.4 gig lightning receiver for an iPhone, uh, the wind protectors, the clips for the microphone, uh, the unidirectional mic, the, sorry, the omnidirectional microphone itself comes with a desktop tripod, a, a tripod extension, which does actually open up as well. I forgot to show you this. 
but it does actually open up like that so you can extend it even more a ball and socket head here with a quarter 20 on top and the mount for the iphone here which can be set to portrait or landscape mode and a handle grip here all with the different mounting points across it for setting it up as you like and the 30 led light there as well that's what comes in the kit hope you found that useful thank you very much for watching if you've got any questions about it whatsoever please do let me know in the comments and uh, it just gives you a first impressions video there and a quick look through the product see you soon